All right, we're gonna wait for everybody to jump on. Impromptu live. I don't know if YouTube is gonna send out notifications. We'll wait and see. Or I'll just talk to myself, which is fine. I've done that before. <laughs> Hi, Susie. Hey, Chow. I'm not going to be on here too long because I need to leave to go pick up Leah. So this is going to be super quick. But I wanted to show some happy mail that I got. And then we'll stencil this out quick. So I got this beautiful card from Karen Trimble. Love it. I, I don't have the patience for these intricate dyes, but I love how beautiful they are. This is so pretty. So thank you, Karen. And then Lisa Acker sent me this card. And she sent along some extra of these Galaxy cards, which I think you can buy as a set on Amazon. I know that Tracy sent me some, so those are cool. And she sent me these really cool chipboard pieces. So cute. So thank you, Lisa. I'm going to put those back in the envelope so I don't mess them up. And then Jim made this beautiful porcelain alcohol colored ornament. Isn't that pretty? And he said the colors reminded him of orchids, and I would agree. Gorgeous. So thank you, guys. Hi, Belinda. Hey, Leanne in Australia. Yes, I got my order, so I wanted to show you guys. I do have to run at 4 to pick up Leah, so I only have about a half an hour. Hi, Barb. Ooh, Barb and Susie from Illinois. Hi, Crystal. Chow said she got her order, too. She got her stencil. Sally got her stencil. <clears throat> yeah, go check the mail. Hi, Tracy. Okay, so this is the Jumbo Sunflower Layering Stencil, and I did get the matching die. I don't know if I'll be doing the die today. I just want to really do the coloring um, to see how it looks. So we have the numbers in the bottom corner here. Let me get my little, my little marker that I use to mark it. So this is number two. Still fighting my head cold. It's really annoying at this point because it's I'm like stuck in this limbo phase. Like I'm not getting any sicker, but I'm not getting any better. One, two. I think that's four. Three. And four. Yeah, four. Okay, so let's do this. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab some paper and cut it to six by six. That just makes it easier for me and then I can cut it down from there. <coughs> Hello, Belinda. Hi Kelly. Hi Marzana, Debbie, Lori. Hi, Melanie. Yeah, Belinda, I've been fighting a cold for over a week. Chow's feeding the baby. So if you guys didn't know, the Ton Stamps was our sponsor for Stamp Wars, which is... I got to say, you guys, I never imagined that I would be where I'm at with this. Honestly, it is so surreal to me to have you guys jump on here and stamp along with me and make stuff with me and want to buy from companies that I admire. Um, to meet Effie was, I'm not even joking, for real, like, VIP fangirl moment for me to meet her because I've always loved watching her videos and buying her products. And I know, you know, she is on the little higher end of the budget, but 
it's a treat for me to be able to get her products and to be able to meet her. Um, you know, she, she is the Louis Vuitton of my stamp collection, you guys. Like, I love her stuff. So, when she agreed to do Stamp Wars, it was literally like, oh my gosh, I'm going to be doing Stamp Wars with Effie's stuff. So, yeah, who doesn't love her? I am going to grab a little bit of Pixie Spray and spray the back of these. So, give me a second to do that. If you don't have Pixie Spray, pick some up. It's so worth it. I'm going to grab my spray box. This is my grungy spray box, and I'm going to spray the back of these with Pixie Spray. And when you spray Pixie Spray, this is a low-tack adhesive. You want to give it a minute to um, kind of set up. So you spray it, you set it aside. Just a really light coating. And what it does is it makes your stencils kind of tack down without um, being super sticky and they won't kind of wiggle around. Um, and this doesn't smell really weird like other stencil sprays do. It's not an adhesive like a glue adhesive, it's just a temporary adhesive. Think like post-it note adhesive. Okay, so now that those are sprayed, we're gonna give those a minute to set. I'm gonna pull my inks out. Okay, Leanne bought some digital downloads. Yes, I need to blow my nose. I'm sorry. Is there a mute? I'm sorry. <laughs> <coughs> Melissa's driving. Hi, Melissa. Hey, Cheryl. Hi, Sherry. All right. Um... So while we're waiting for that to set up, let me grab some blending brushes. Hey, Jim, I just showed your um, ornament that you sent us. Thank you so much for that. And I'm going to be using, of course, my favorite, Catherine Puller inks. Um, you know, and I was just talking to my friends about the new... The new color of ink that was released by, um, oh my gosh, I can't speak, Tim Holtz, the new Distress Inks, and I have pledged to myself this year that I don't think I'm going to buy any more Distress Inks, only because I have found my true love is with these Catherine Buller inks. It's crazy, but I just, I can't help it. I love the Catherine Polar inks. They do everything that all the other inks do. So I don't find a reason for me to have to buy any more Distress inks. In fact, I'm going to be getting rid of all my Distress inks. I'll probably keep the Distress Oxides, but I really don't see any reason to keep regular Distress inks. So I'm going to get rid of them, and I will not be buying the, the new color just because it's just not something I reach for. So I don't want to spend my money. I can buy more stamps from the ton if I don't buy things that I know that I'm not going to use and I was just buying them to have them and I wasn't using them. So they were going to waste. <coughs> um, I have the stencil mylar in my Amazon shop. So the dimensions are in there for the ones that I use when I'm cutting them out for like, so like this is what I use for kitchen sink stamps. It comes in 12 by 12 sheets and I use my scan and cut to cut it out. Um, so you can check the dimensions of that. I think it's seven, but I'm not 100% on that. All right, so I have my little mini waffle flower mat here, which I gotta say, you guys, I thought this was gonna be one of those things that I would buy and not really use. I use it all the time. It's the perfect size. So I'm going to tuck this into the corner, and this is 80-pound hammer mill. I'm going to take my number one stencil and tuck that into the corner. And this, I've cut this paper to six by six. And now that we have the stencil spray on here, pixie spray, it's not going to go anywhere. I'm going to start with the lightest color yellow, limoncello. I am going to go kind of quickly here because I need to leave very shortly to go drive an hour to go pick up Leah from her dad. It was her first weekend with her dad, so... 
I'm very proud of both of them for making this happen. As you guys know, Leah is a mama's girl. She does not like leaving her mama. So I was very happy that she agreed to go. Okay, so this is Limoncello from CP, and I'm gonna just use a blending brush. And you can get these blending brushing at all different colors, for like 10 bucks on my Amazon shop. <clears throat> Chow has linked the Amazon shop. And I'm gonna start from the outside and blend my way in, just because this is the first layer, and I know as we add more colors, I'm gonna go from the middle out. So this color really just needs to show on the outside here. You'll see what I mean here in a minute. And your secret to good blending is having juicy ink pads and having a very smooth paper. Bristol paper works great. Catherine Pooler paper works great. Hammer Mill seems to be the paper we stumbled across that seems to do everything we need it to do. It does great with ink blending. It does great with coloring. It does great with foiling. So that seems to be our go-to paper lately, and it's very inexpensive. That's what I like about it, because I am cheap. Okay, so that's Limoncello, Stencil One. Hey, that looks good right there. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to move on to Stencil Two. Come on. Hi, Barb. Hey, Dawn. Okay, so that's stencil one. I'll do cleanup later. I'm not worried about it because these inks clean up very easily. Okay, so number two, you know, and I'm going to put a little pencil mark just in my little corner here in case I flip my paper or something. So I know that this is where... This is the bottom corner. See, I just put a little dot there. Um, okay. So this is layer two down in the corner. Down on the farm. Down on the farm. Okay, here we go. Let's line this up. All right. So layer two, I'm going to go in with a little bit darker yellow. And this is Catching Rays from Catherine Puller. I'm trying to stay in frame for you guys. There we go. Not doing a very good job at it. Catching rays. It does look like the sun. And so for this color, I'm going to come out from the center. I'm just going to pull this out from the center. Because this is now our accent colors, right? These are shadow colors. We don't want them to overtake that first layer. Ooh, this will be really pretty with um, all those stencil pastes that we have. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna try that later. I do need to pick some winners as well. I don't think I'll have time to do that now, but maybe later. Or tomorrow. It is only Saturday. So maybe tomorrow we'll do that. Leah has ice skating tomorrow morning. All right. So I'm just feathering this out from the center and I'm going outward. Okay. I don't want to be kind of going like all in circles and stuff because this is a very delicate stencil. So I don't want to like go like this all over the stencil and then it lifts some of those finer, smaller bits. Again, another reason to use pixie spray if you don't have it. Okay. So that's layer two. We did catching rays with layer two. Right, Jim? Oh my gosh, you guys are so pretty. Okay, that's layer two. We could just stop right there. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. Okay, layer three. And then again, we want to put the number in the corner. Yeah, I'm going to over ink that a little bit. Too much color. Let me dab some of that up. You don't need a lot of ink. Very light with the ink. Okay, so layer three. Okay, we're good there. Pressing down my pixie spray on there. Okay, and we're going to go to Glitz, which is a little bit darker gold. And this is a brand new color that's in the Catherine Puller line. 
And same thing, just gonna go from the center and kind of push outwards. This is a little bit darker golden yellow. Same thing like we did with layer two. I don't want to oversaturate that one like I did with layer two. <clears throat> oh my God, Cynthia, if we took this layer and we put some clear transfer paste on here, texture paste gloss, and then went over it with some gold foil, oh my God, that would be stunning. Or some lunar paste, or, you know, we have all those paper, paper glazes, you know, we have all of those things. That would be pretty. Or some glitter. Yes, that's pretty. Look at all that dimension popping through. Okay, so those are layer three. Those are the golden yellow layers. And you don't have to make this a sunflower. You can make this a daisy or something. No one's going to know. Just change your colors up. Okay, so then layer four is the center. And so it has all three centers here. So you're going to find how the center lines up. Who's digging me? <coughs> Excuse me. All right, that's pretty easy. If you look for where these long pieces are hanging out, they're hanging out here on the stencil. I love it. I like when artists make things easy for us. So I'm just going to line those things up as close as I can get here. There we go. That's good. That's pretty good. And I'm going to go in with some sand castle. Very lightly. Color that in. I'm starting from the outside of the stencil and pulling towards the middle. Okay, that's Sand Castle, which is a really light brown. Hi, Patty. Yep, my head is still clogged. At least I was able to get some rest, so I will say that. All right, so then I think the next one is going to be this guy. And I don't think it really matters how you line him up. You just kind of lay him in there. This guy right here. You can look through the stencil, kind of see where the center is. I'm going to go in with a little over coffee. And we're going to darken that up. Okay, that's it. Real simple. The secret here is not to get your fingers into the ink and then touch the paper. That would be bad. And then we're going to take this final layer. Same kind of thing. I think we just kind of look through where that goes. Because those are just our sunflower seeds. And we're going to go in with a little icing on the cake. I'm going to grab a little bit smaller blending brush for this. Excuse me. All right, so we're going to grab some icing on the cake, which is our darkest brown from CP. This is a little bitty blending brush. These are also in my Amazon shop. And I'm just going to spread that color in. Tap, 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 tap. Who does tap, tap, tap? Oh, Lisa from Local King does tap, 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 tap. I love Lisa. Just taking that, look at this very little bit of ink and just keep spreading it around. All right, so that's icing on the cake. Are we ready for the final reveal? Ta-da! 
Oh my gosh, it's so cute. You guys, these are tiny little bitty hearts. Oh, they are. They're little bitty hearts. Can you see that? Isn't that cute? Right? And you can take a little bit of your blending brush and just kind of blend that out a little bit too. And that's it. How easy was that, you guys? I did that in like, what, 10 minutes? And then, like I said, if you wanted to, we're going to step it up. We're going to do it. We're already here. Let's just do it. I'm going to take layer three. Susie Fix, super cute. Got a drink. Okay, I'm going to take layer three. I'm going to layer layer three back on here. Oh, yeah. She's going to do it, you guys. <laughs> now, we can spray some spray on here, or I have a couple different ones here. I have... Bow Bunny Glitter Paste, which it's called Buttercup. I'm hoping this isn't completely dried out. <clears throat> um, Tracy, if you go in my Amazon shop, I believe I have them in stencils. Um, I'll link my Amazon shop for you. Let's see how pliable this is. Ooh, this is kind of thick, but I think we can probably get away with that. And then we also have Lunar Paste in Slippery When Wet. And we have Gamboge Stencil Butter, which I really like this color. But I think these would be fun to kind of layer. I could start with this, this, and end with that. So these will be fun because they're not exactly the same color. Some different colors here, but they're all stencil paste. Do one layer, let it dry completely. Go back, do the second layer, third layer, and so on. But I think I want to use the glitter on this one. Chow linked it. Thank you, Chow. What would I do without Chow, you guys? So I'm going to start from the center. I'm going to hold my stencil, make sure that's all the way down. And I'm going to push out on the stencil. Again, I don't want to go under the stencil. I don't want any of those little pieces lifting up. So I'm just pulling from the center. And you don't have to get it in every single nook and cranny. This is an accent, so no one's going to know if you miss a spot. You do want to go clean your stencils off right away. So if you have glitter paste that's sitting there, because we all do, and it's all drying out and we're not using it, here's a good way to use it is on these layered stencils, use it as your last layer. Oh my gosh, this is going to be amazing. All right, well, at least I can say I used that a couple times before it totally dried out and died on me. And you want to clean that up right away. <coughs> yes, Jim, stencil butter for the seeds. I think I'll go back and do that later after this dries. Clean up my little mess here. Glitter paste is notorious for being kind of difficult to clean up, except Gina K's glitter paste is very easy to clean up. I do like Gina K's glitter paste. <gasps> you guys, oh my gosh, look how pretty that is. Isn't that nice? And then if you wanted to cut this out, you could use the die. Or if you have a scan and cut, you could use, well, before you put the paste on it. You got to cut it out before you paste it. Um, wasn't that fun? But I think you're right, Jim. I think it needs some of that. What do I have in, in dark colors here? Do I have any brown? Um, I do. I have... 
Picket Fence Studios Paper Glaze in a Dark Brown. What's the name of this? It doesn't have a name, but it's called Brown. <laughs> brown Dahlia. So I'll let this dry, and later I'll come back in with the last layer, this layer, and I'll stencil that in, and that'll look really cool. So, yeah. Yeah. So if you guys ordered from the ton or maybe you haven't ordered yet, you want to go check out the tonstamps.com. I don't have an affiliate with her, but you can say you watch Nancy Stamps so Effie knows. Um, and yeah, make sure if you guys didn't catch Stamp Wars or you didn't catch our follow-up videos, Tracy, Chow, and I have all posted our follow-up videos. I think Stacy's going to try to get hers done this weekend, maybe as a live um, we did the layering peaceful peonies set on there and we all did our follow-up videos so you can go check those out but that's another layering set that you could also do the same kind of technique on look how easy that is if you clean it up right away it's easy if you let it sit then you have a glittery stencil for the rest of your life it doesn't affect anything but I don't I like to have mine cleaned up right away and these are just what I did was I ran out of Clorox wipes but the bottom had all this uh, liquid in there, so I just grabbed some paper towels and it soaked it all up. So I managed to get a couple extra wipes out of it just by using some Bounty paper towels. Any other questions you guys have? Oh, I see you guys are helping each other out. It's stuck now. It suctioned itself to the thing. I like having a, if you don't have, you can get a nail brush for like a dollar. Um, I like using nail brushes. I keep them by the sink so they're easy to clean these kinds of things up. See how easy it is to clean that up? Just wipe it down, and then I'll grab a paper, a dry paper towel, and I'll dry it off. Now I'm getting glitter everywhere, but that's okay. Ta-da! Easy peasy. Look at that. I made a card front, some pretty sparkles, clean up my mess, and all in less than a half an hour. Plenty of time. If you wanted to use your paper towel to clean up your brush, you could do that too. I don't clean my brushes. I just kind of save them and use them in the same color family. But that's nice and clean now, so I can reuse that. I used Bow Bunny. I'll show you guys the glitter paste here. Just dry off my stencils. Normally Leah does this for me. I'll, I'll call her and she'll take them up to the sink and she'll she'll wipe them down with the nail brush with soap and water. She'll dry them off and she'll bring them back to me. She really is the best assistant. <laughs> Although the other day she calls me, Mom, I broke the sink. I'm like, how did you break the sink? Well, here... She pulled the stopper up and she was making bubbles in the sink playing around. And I guess that probably was fun because I'm assuming they were colored bubbles with all the ink coming off the stencils. And she pulled the stopper too hard and the stopper got stuck in the sink. So I had to go underneath the sink to repair it. So that's probably one of the reasons she likes to help clean up is she knows she's going to get colored soap bubbles out of the whole thing that she can play with in the sink. Okay, so that was very easy to clean up. The stencil, again, it's, it's a very large stencil. It's called Jumbo Sunflower Layering Stencils from the Ton. 
Now that they're all cleaned up, I put them back in their packaging. Here is the matching die if you want to get the die. The stencils were $26. The die was $23. Now we did have a coupon through Stamp Wars, but that coupon has expired. But we just had Stamp Wars on Saturday. I placed my order Saturday night or Sunday. And so you can see how quickly that shipped. Get that. There we go. And then, like I said, what you could use is lunar paste. This is slippery when wet. You can use gamboge stencil butter. This is like my favorite color in the whole world. But I used for this one bow bunny glitter paste in buttercup. And then later when I come back, I'm going to let that dry. I'm going to go get Leah. I'm going to take this paper glaze in brown dahlia and I'm going to go back in with the last layer this layer here. I'm going to put this back down and then I'm going to run this paper glaze through there so these will be raised little sunflower seeds. And I used all Catherine Polar inks. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. I think everything's listed in my Amazon shop. Um, this is the Waffle Flower Mini Mat. If it's not in my Amazon shop, you can pick it up from Catherine Puller, as well as the inks that I use. These are also Catherine Puller links. If you guys use my links, I do get a small affiliate commission. It doesn't cost you any more, but the colors that I used were Glitz, Catching Rays, and Limoncello from Catherine Puller. And then the browns that I used were Icing on the Cake, over coffee and sand castle. So those are the browns. And I think you can buy these in minis. You can get a little neutral set and these are in minis. So you don't have to buy full size. If you want to try them out in minis, you can get them in minis too. Thank you guys. Thanks Jim for the reminder. I need to go get Leah now. I will be back in a few hours and hopefully we'll do a live tomorrow. And we'll pick some winners. If you didn't catch the replay, go catch the replay because the winner is going to win your very own stencil and die from the ton. And it's this set here. It is called the Peaceful Peony set. And my video, I actually use pan pastels. So look at this difference when you stencil it versus um, with regular inks versus using pan pastels very very fun so go check out the videos and chow's video as well chow's going to be giving away a prize tracy and i are both giving away a set of brand new stencils and dies to match so go watch the videos go comment so that you have a chance at winning your very own set from the ton on the peaceful peonies okay guys i gotta go i'll see you later thanks for watching don't forget the thumbs up on the way out bye